So guys, we're going to be taking a look now at Speedos. He's posted a video on YouTube six days ago called The New One Shot Victus XMR in Warzone 2. And I've had this sent to me and been told to take a look at some of the sus gameplay throughout. We're going to be taking a look for wall hacks and aimbot. Although it is the one shot gun and it is pretty broken. Who knows, we might be able to see some snapping. This video is sponsored by the FlexiSpot Active Standing Desk E7. This desk comes with a solid worktop and you can choose from multiple colours and not to mention the extremely sturdy metal frame. And again, you can pick from a choice of multiple colours. The FlexiSpot Active Standing Desk E7 does exactly what it says on the tin. And honestly, from the touch of a button, it is so simple. And with multiple different presets, you can actually make this much simpler, making it so easy to set it to your perfect position. And if you want to get yourself a flexi spot active standing desk e7 the link is in the description below and we won i have the sniper i have the sniper i have the sniper okay he's got the sniper my precious is this it no oh please we should just get out of here bro we should oh my god nothing seems dodgy so far yes i agree i concur with the statement of getting out of here all right Oh my god, it just hit one try and try. No. no. There's two in the ring right below you. TTV tapping. <laughs> we have one down shot! I'm gonna be honest, like, I mean, so far from what I can see, there's nothing really sus about it. I remember looking into Speedos some time ago in Badansk. There was a clip of him doing like a 720 no scope off the edge of prison for the final kill. He broke his legs in the process, but he had to self revive and he managed to actually hit the shot. But I, I watched that back over and over and over, slowed it down, and he was spinning so fast, and the crosshair stopped dead on the enemy's head, right? And I kept that clip saved. It's on an external hard drive in one of them drawers back there, right? And the reason I've saved that is because I've been waiting for another opportunity for me to take a look at Speedos' gameplay. And now we're taking a look now, so if this does end up getting turned into a video, um, I might whip out that old clip as well. 845 is the moment, here, says the person in the chat, so we'll skip, we'll skip. No point in messing about, right? 845. We'll watch from about 820, right? You're not the one. He's on 22 kills. He's got the one shot up? sniper. You can literally shoot people in the, in the toe, and it's like a headshot, one shot kill. What is happening? Surely he's dead. These gentlemen are throwing things at me, future. They're throwing a lot of things. more buddies. I'm guessing that's the moment anyway. Right, so. A couple of things to take into consideration here, right? There's a there's a clear edit there, right? So let's go from here. Watch. You can see happening? where it's edited. These gentlemen are throwing things at me, future. They're throwing a lot of things. more buddies. There. So there's an edit, whoever's edited his video has made a cut there, so we don't know whether or not there was an engagement prior to that. Okay, this is what I'm saying about people who run wall hacks will edit their videos in a manner which takes away any information. So, hey, listen, it can happen to people who are legit and it can make it look sus like this moment here. And do you know what? It does look sus. There's no one on the minimap showing, but one thing that we can point out here is that his teammate number two has actually got a live, well not a live ping, sorry, but a marker on this building. So for all we know, Speedos could have had an engagement with somebody else somewhere, and his teammate said, listen, there's a guy over here, get on that roof and shoot at him, right? Speedos has jumped over, probably heard footsteps in amongst all the other noise, decided to take a shot at this wall to see if the guy's behind there, and got hit markers. Right? I mean, like, that guy's still in there, and he's still got hit marks in the same place. That was a bit mad. If I'm getting shot through a wall, I'm maneuvering, I'm moving to the other side of the room, I'm getting out of a window, I'm doing something to make sure I don't get shot through that same wall. So the fact he knew that guy was still there in amongst all that, I don't know. The guy's just self-revived, though. So I don't know what's I'm going on there. Shooter. How many plates you got? 
And again there, that just solidifies that he's just taking random shots at the wall. He started on the right side of the wall, moved over to the left, and the guy was there in the doorway. So the guy had actually moved, and he shot in the place that he last remembered that enemy being. So, I don't know, what do you guys think in the chat, let me know. But for me personally, I don't think there's anything really in that. Based on the way the video has been edited on his YouTube channel. And this is what I'm saying, guys. You go and watch a live stream, you see all the information. Sometimes a video has information left in. Whether that be intentional or unintentional, sometimes videos have things left in that are sus. This though, that everything that you need to know cut out to determine whether or not that him shooting them through the wall was sus or not.